guys and welcome back to my kitchen excuse the messy look it is raining today and it is halloween so for dinner i wanted to make it early it's only 1 30 right now but because we're going to be out trick-or-treating and we're going to get home pretty late i wanted to have dinner done and ready so i decided to make well i didn't decide to make i was requested to make um lasagna roll-ups so i'm going to show you the ingredients and get right into the recipe because i tend to have long intros so i'm gonna get right into it starters you want to have a large pot for your noodles on and ready to boil and so by the time you get your meat and everything done this will be boiling you just drop your noodles in you're going to need a large skillet to ground your ground beef and a baking dish to bake the roll-ups in also you're going to need some ground beef chopped onion mozzarella cheese one egg, some ricotta cheese, of course, lasagna noodles, and salt, oregano, basil, and pepper. The recipe also calls for um, Parmesan cheese, but I thought I had some, and apparently I don't. So that will not be in mine today, but it was in their original recipe that when I originally made these, and it was delicious. So if you have it, um, definitely use it. So I'm going to get right into grinding my ground beef. And not to mention, you will need pasta sauce of your choice. Today I'm just using the Prego Pesto Marinara and two large bowls, one for the meat and one for your cheese mixture. In my skillet, I'm going to warm it up. And this is a non-stick skillet, so I'm not going to spray or put anything in it. And I'm just going to start with my onions. I'm just going to start with my onions and get those in there. And let those start to cook up. And then I'll add my ground beef. I have now added my ground beef to the pan. And um, with my onions. And I also seasoned my ground beef with salt and pepper. I have... I still don't have boiling water yet, but... It's getting there. Let's see what it's doing. Oh, that's why. So I just turned the heat up on that and it should be boiling soon. I just added salt and olive oil to that. And I'm going to get, get onto my cheese mixture. In my large bowl, I'm going to add my cup and a fourth of mozzarella cheese. And my one egg. And I have to get a spoon for this part. And you're going to need three fourths tablespoon. I meant three fourths cup of ricotta cheese, but I can't find a three fourths cup, so I'm going to have to do this three times. Pot back here has a piece of pan on it because I don't want to have a lid big enough to help it come up to a boil. So, actually, let me get an oven mitt. Yeah, still not there yet. I see the bubbles forming at the bottom. Back on my makeshift stand. So I have my three fourths tablespoon of ricotta, one and one fourth tablespoon of mozzarella. Now I'm going to add one 
one teaspoon of basil. One teaspoon of oregano. The recipe calls for two, but instead I've decided to use Italian seasoning. And with a different spoon, not that one. Now I'm just going to mix all of those. Turn off my meat. And there it is. I'm trying to get it without it. So now I'm just going to set my oven for 350 and let my noodles cook and clean up the mess that I have accumulated while doing this and I'll show you the next step. Now into your saucepan you're going to add a layer of your pasta sauce just to keep everything from sticking. Now, my, now my noodles are done so now I'm just going to I'm running low space so I won't be able to show you the whole process but I will at least get to show you a few of them. You want to lay down your pasta noodles. I'm running low space, so I won't be able to show you the whole process. But I will at least get to show you a few of them. You want to lay down your pasta noodles. I'll take a spoonful of my mixture. Try to get one close that you can see. And just flatten it out. You don't want to make them too big and then they bust. But I definitely like to be a little generous with it. And you see, you just roll it up. And you place it. It all worked out well. I use all of my noodles and all of my cheese and meat mixture. Although I do have quite a bit of extra meat sauce, I can always use that for spaghetti or anything else. So now what you want to do is top your lasagna rolls with meat sauce and then cheese, cover it with foil, and pop it in the oven. I'm going to get my foil. Whoa. 
understand here's your final product the last 10 minutes is if you would like the cheese to be a little more brown and bubbly but we like ours like this so ours is done now please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other recipes you would like to see or any other video ideas that you have for me i hope you enjoy this recipe if you give it a try um if you're not a subscriber please be sure to subscribe to join our journey and i'll see you in the next one Bye.